The number one question I've been getting lately is why Vanderstank? And for me, it's more than just the company that's produced everything you've ever needed. It's a way of life. Through its colorful history, Vanderstank has created a wide variety of innovative home products, luxury foods and wines, films, records, technologies. The list is endless. And just when you thought they had it all, their spiritual guidance and personal treatment programs are uplifting and will open your eyes to what truly matters in this life. I found myself truly happy with the family. Vanderstank has been on my radar for quite some time now. In the summer of 2017, shortly after my video on Kanye Quest, I was looking for something else to scratch that itch. The rabbit hole I fell into at the time was exhilarating. I'd never felt anything like it. However, I was painfully aware that I was picking up pieces of a puzzle that had already been abandoned. I was looking for something fresh, something new, something I could help find the pieces, maybe even play along. Looking back, I guess I was a perfect candidate for Vanderstank. I was broken, sad, lost in the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life. Work, eat, sleep, repeat. I was looking for something, anything, to get my heart racing. And just to get a little bit of excitement, curiosity, and in a strange way, purpose, back in my life. It sounds strange now, but it was truly a match made in heaven when I joined Vanderstank, an online community focused on the enlightenment of their members and sharing in their beliefs. One of the first posts on the site is... Is Vanderstank a cult? And in the article, they share all the reasons that they are not a cult, while I'll be completely open to the fact that they are exactly like a cult. It was tongue-in-cheek, sarcastic, and a complete mystery. I was hooked. However, what they didn't bank on was how incredibly lazy I was. That I had joined, played around on site for a few days, and promptly forgot about it. I got wrapped up in the real world again. The idea of this website claiming not to be a cult while hiding puzzles on every site under their umbrella just slipped my mind. It wasn't until 2018 that I remembered the cult that would. I logged back on the site and was greeted with a terrifying sight. What the hell? Little did I know that the ARG cult, not a cult, site had been nuked. Nothing remained on the site. The Twitter accounts, the YouTube channels, and even the Discord had been badly damaged by the blast, with everyone banned and clever get v-fucked. Nothing remained of the Vanderstank I had begun to sink my teeth into. I decided to dive back in once more to see what exactly I had missed. Vanderstank has numerous umbrella slash sister sites connected to it. The Church of Vanderstank, I Believe Poppy, Has Obeith, The Vanderfield, a Teespring site, and images for something called The Shape. The site Project Rabbit was created January 17th, 2017, run by somebody calling themselves The Rabbit. Hello, I'm The Rabbit. If you're here, you've either seen my images my dear friends have dispersed in your town, or you've been informed of my rabbit hole by one of them. The plan is working. Project Rabbit is growing. Chapter 8. It's my own invention. After a while, the noise seemed to gradually die away till all was dead silence, and Celia lifted up her head in some alarm. 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 Sound the alarms. I am the rabbit. Can you see it? You will see. 
you will see the enemy. You are encouraged to copy the symbol of the rabbit and paste it where you see fit. Visit me weekly. New tunnels will be dug. Where is Celia? On April 10th, Vandersteg made a post to their Facebook page. It looks like we may have found the Celia that the rabbit was talking about. You are no doubt wondering what Project Rabbit is. Allow me to elucidate in the form of questions and answers. Question one, who is Celia? Celia is a dear friend of mine with whom I shared a horrible experience that I am consistently hesitant to recall. Question two, what is Project Rabbit? Project Rabbit is the search for Celia. Question three, why should we help you find Celia? If you witnessed men grabbing an unattended child and forcing her into a vehicle, would you simply stand idly by? Question four, who are you? I am the rabbit, formerly understood to be L.C. Murphy Barbet. Question five, who took Celia? The Crapper Quadge. Question six, what can we do to help you find Celia? Share this footage, post stickers, post flyers, and tell everyone. Question seven, what will happen when we find Celia? I suspect I shall part ways with you all and Celia and I will seek out permanent refuge. Question eight, does Celia know we're trying to find her? If she doesn't, we failed already. Question nine, how can we defeat Vanderstank? Vanderleaks, Project Rabbit stickers, rabbit hunt, seed packets. Question 10, why was Celia taken? I assume for the same reason one extinguishes a fire before he leaves the campsite. On this day, May 23, 2017, Project Rabbit has released a multitude of carrot seed packets around the world, and these packets are instructions, links, and stickers that will aid our cause. With your help, we will burn Vanderstank to the ground and finally slay the Krabberquage for Celia. Project Rabbit continues. Seems Vanderstank may have heard the rabbit as the Vanderstank YouTube channel posted a video the very next day called Firebook, the song Run Rabbit Run playing in the background. Going back to Project Rabbit's site, we see an advertisement in the middle of the page for the site Vanderstank. The website itself is a massive puzzle with different parts of the site having an operating system that you can send messages and play games, and numerous other brands under the umbrella of Vanderstank, selling albums by members of Vanderstank, luxury foods like Diet Water, and even their own church of Vanderstank, of which you can navigate through and find the different books of the church, lessons on flying, and quite a few with just strange rooms with symbols flying, or just a chair and a button to click. In the texts of the church, you read about a woman named Caroline. And lo, our Lord Caroline did hear this prophecy, and she did plan to stay with mankind for all time, and so she did create the first holy gospel. And she gave unto this gospel a name prophesied through the ages. And lo, there appeared in the darkness behind her great fearsome letters, fiery orange with vicious streaks of yellow, reading the prophesied name, and that name was called Zoom. And lo, she did say confidently into the people, come on, give it a try. Yes, dear watcher, the Church of Vanderstank, the supposed cult behind the kidnapping of an innocent woman, was founded around Caroline from the PBS kids show Zoom. Even as you explore the church's levels, if you go to the wrong door or try the wrong code, a gif of Caroline smacking your head pops up. Within the confines of the OS, however, is where we find some of the more interesting parts of the site. They have their own versions of different sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google, and even the Hub. You can chat with a bot or even other members, and you can play games like Chumbles. 
don't worry about how to play because you will never win. When going through the OS, I did find the document section, which is organized by body parts. There is the eyes, which are pictures, bladder, which is different games you can play, lungs, which is music, liver, with a broken file for a .mov, and pancreas, that looks like it has just about everything else. In eyes, however, I was quickly pulled towards these pictures, crudely drawn and hastily put together, that talk of the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain. Cognition alignment, which looks like a machine to monitor brain waves, and finally a document titled PTSD, which in this context stands for post-treatment suspension domes. With a layout of the nod for the room, my first thought on this was that it was a sensory deprivation tank. The idea of which is that you are in a quiet, dark tank with salt water surrounding you. It's supposed to leave you without your sense of touch, sound, and sight basically cutting off your external stimuli. It's supposed to be used for calming and relaxing the body, while supposedly being an aid for depression and anxiety. Regardless, these documents reveal something rather shady is happening in this group about spiritual enlightenment. I believe Poppy is a sister site to Vanderstank with its own labyrinth of puzzles and confusing flash animation. It's incredibly easy to get lost in the site's pages. There's a link for a diner that gives you random coordinates in Rhode Island, talks of a white rabbit, and unfortunately, because I'm using the Wayback Machine for most of this research, a lot of broken links. Tell Vanderstank no more. No more testing, no more experiments, no more lying. This website has been a part of an experiment in mind control since day one, and you all played right into it. Vanderstank is a lie. Hazobio are criminals. Iceberg is child abuse. This is not my home. This is not my family. Tell Vanderstank no more. There are several YouTube channels in addition to the website. We've already found the rabbit, and even Vanderstank themselves have a YouTube page where they show off their members. But I'd like to introduce you to Maddie Demos. This blue eye perceives all things conjoined. The past, the future, and the present. Everything flows, and all is connected. This eye is not merely seen. Reality. It is touching the truth. Maddie is a young singer who recently started this new channel, looking for a fresh start. She has a show on her channel called Tub Tunes, where she plays covers of songs in her bathtub, and is very reminiscent of YouTube at the time. 140 quality and everything. In the video Clean Slate, she talks about what made her want to start this channel away from her previous one. So I'm sure by now you guys know that Nikki and I have broken it off. She's an amazing person. I still wish the best for her. We're still good friends. I just figured it was a good time for me to move my content to my own channel. And since we broke it off, I didn't really find it easy for me to be making things that are still associated with her. I kind of figured that I, I needed some space. And so that explains the new YouTube channel, the new Twitter, and I plan on creating all new social media just to have something for my own. However, one thing to note is that some of her videos have closed captioning on. By adding the closed captioning, we get a sense that there is more than meets the eye. What is up you guys? It's me. I'm back. And I know it's been a while, and I'm sorry, but I've been a little busy. I'm sorry. They're watching. I can't keep this up much longer. If you see him, please tell him I'm coming. I'll see you guys soon. 
There's also a link to an unlisted YouTube video of a woman giving her Vander thanks in front of a candle. On November 10th, Maddie gives us another tub tunes, again with closed captioning. I told you I'm trying. You're no help. You have to look deeper. Please, for me. It's only getting worse. It's getting hard to breathe. I'll be back soon. Meanwhile, on Project Rabbit, the rabbit has been having some problems after the advertisement for Vanderstank showed up. Celia, I'm terribly thankful that you managed to reach me. There are a number of different methods by which you can contact me. And I hope you do whichever one you find most appropriate and beneficial. You may find me at Project Rabbit, if you find it necessary. You may email me. You may find one of my own messages and respond to them on the YouTube channel. Finally, you may, if you find necessary, contact me by post. A new friend, the first to help me look for you, Celia, has allowed me to use his mailing address for the rabbit hole's domain registration. I encourage you to send a letter to the address under which this site is registered, if you find yourself able. Address your correspondence to L.C. Murphy Barbet, as you well know. You will be found, Celia. We will get to you. After his plea to Celia, we find that the site is littered with Vanderstank symbols. Links to Vanderstank, the church, and I believe Poppy. Gone are the links for the rabbit's videos, the carrots, the access for Celia to write him. Going to the Rabbit's YouTube account, we see that the videos are gone. The channel name and banner have changed. The Rabbit is gone. And in his place, Toke Discorde. Hello friends, I'm Travis Farnham, Executive Director of e-commerce at Vanderstank Industries, and I would like to posit to you a thought experiment. But first, let's, let's address what this is. Many of you watching are likely previous subscribers to the YouTube channel known as Project Rabbit. If you're not, then allow me to explain what Project Rabbit was. Project Rabbit was implemented near the end of the year 2016. The Vanderstank family was thriving. New innovations were being made in the way of our personal treatment technology. New members were joining left and right. The water was still and refreshing. It was around this time that necessity forced me to create Project Rabbit. Our historical engineer, Celia Cave, found information that she didn't enjoy finding and attempted to steal and release that information, fully aware that her contract prevented her from doing so. Project Rabbit was a guerrilla attention campaign that consisted of stickers being placed by our former barbet, Lewis Cave, who would then recruit others to place their own stickers, all to triangulate the location of his wife, Celia. Some months of suboptimal family member performance passed and both Lewis and Celia were given the greatest help from the family on regaining their bearings. This initiative was spearheaded by Lewis, who sported a rabbit mask and used this very YouTube channel to amass a following of helpers. And this is where we are. This channel, after some dormancy, has been officially repurposed by Vanderstank Industries. I have taken on a secondary role in the company, and that is the role of evangelist. On a regular basis, this YouTube channel will publish a video of yours truly reading excerpts from the very glamorous and very coveted book of Vanderstank. This is a precious opportunity for you. Maddie uploads another video titled My Beloved Family, where she talks about Vanderstank and her life since joining.
The number one question I've been getting lately is why Vanderstank? And for me, it's more than just the company that's produced everything you've ever needed. It's a way of life. In the closed captioning, once again, there is another note from Maddie. Fine print. It's in the fine print. Not everything is as it seems. Deep in the shadows. My lungs can't take it. Everything's closing. Plant your mind. Let go of what you've been told. Eternally thankful. All is well. Shadows. End. There is another link for another video. However, it appears that the video was uploaded from the editor within YouTube and not actually published. So this video is unfortunately lost. Hello once again, friends. Today is a very exciting day indeed. It is no secret that only a few days ago, Vandish Stank's 7.0 initiative was announced. We're all very excited to show you what we've developed, but we want to make sure everything is in tip-top shape for your consumption. We wouldn't want to put ourselves in a hole. Now, in one of my last videos, I told you all that we would be breaking the egg. V0718 has done so quite literally in the spirit of pleasing the family. Indeed, a devoted family member for a devoted family. It is during this time, however, that we will all get to break the egg, together, should resources permit and should Caroline smile upon our endeavors. I do not come bearing entirely good news, however. It is evident that a growing number of people have shown concern over the location and safety of Celia Cave. Now, we have tried time and again to assuage your concerns, but continuously, you bombard us with the same questions. Where is Celia? Is Celia okay? So, per my suggestion, with a unanimous agreement from the executive board, we're going to show you today, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Celia is safe and sound at home with us. As a matter of fact, here's a sample of footage taken from her bedroom just this morning. Well, there is your proof, no doubt. So let's end the questions about Celia. Have some respect. Another site, this time a blog from Daggett of Truth is introduced. I'm sure I don't have much time. They've discovered my last few attempts at blogs, web pages, and everything like it. So once again, I've had to move. I'm only hoping it's not too late. If you're reading this, I need your help. I can't talk about it openly, but the serpent hisses four times. It knows. It holds my secrets. In the blog post, there is a screenshot of an article published in 2005 about the death of a supervisor. The bioengineering project that captivated Linden State College and local scientific community as a whole has been thrown into limbo after the death of the project supervisor, Charles Cave. Charles, a single father who climbed from the near poverty to student to professor to being one of the top members of Dark Vincent's scientific research board, was found dead in his home last week. The unusual scene which found Cave's seemingly unharmed body surrounded by candles, was initially ruled to be a suicide via ingestion of hazardous chemicals. But authorities are now investigating the potential foul play regarding the death. The community has been in turmoil after a series of conflicting rumors surrounding his death, each one more gruesome and far-fetched than the last. Police will not comment on their findings up until this point. The bioengineering project was to be the capstone of Cave's career. Funded by angel investor Hazo Bio, a fellow Vermont scientific aid group, the project attracted both praise and controversy for its theatrical and mysterious nature. Little is known of the science backing the project, apart from a series of mysterious press releases intended to make science go viral and ignite the spirit of human innovation among students on campus, and a handful of official documents filed with the state regarding the termination of their funding when it was revealed to have been taking place on a live human subject. The results of the project were planned to be initially obscured until its grand presentation to the community, a presentation that will now never happen. 
The unfortunate death comes just days after an internal memo made a splash on the campus when it referenced potential complications with the project. Cave, a widower, is survived only by his daughter, Celia, nine. Doing a quick Google search for Hazobio will bring up Hazobio.com, which stands for Hazardous Operational Byproduct Expunction Operations. However, it seems the domain has been seized. This domain has been seized because the owner of the website was convicted for using it for illegal activities. The owner of the website says, To all our Hazobio friends, this is not the end. We know we have done nothing wrong. We have done nothing but advance the progress of scientific discoveries in communities around the country. Don't you worry, we'll be back in one form or another. The site has three archived pages. The oldest is from 2004, and it brings us to the Linden Chronicle, the same site that Daggett had posted about on his blog. And moreover, we see the article was written by Ramus Daggett. The article from 2004 talks about a bioengineering project saved by angel investors Hazo Bio. The next archived article is the aforementioned update on Charles Cave's death. The last one, however, shakes things up a bit. Hazardous Operational Byproduct Expungion Operations was founded as a way to supercharge small science programs. Whether you're a group of bright young scientists or an experienced organization trying something new and unusual on the side, Hazobio exists to enable tiny research endeavors to produce huge outcomes at minimal risk by securely taking care of your paperwork, destroying hazardous materials or unwanted results, and dealing with legal matters. We specialize in taking on projects that others may consider too unusual risky, or uncomfortable to fund or collaborate on. We believe that the next great leap forward for our world will not happen unless we venture into the furthest realms of scientific research that so many turn away from. No project too weird, no project too unusual. Whatever's holding you back from making the next great scientific discovery, we'll take care of it. We thought we were done for. We just weren't prepared to deal with all the legal red tape surrounding the results of our latest bioengineering project. We even considered dumping our results into the ocean. But then Hazobio found us and offered to work with us, and it's been smooth sailing ever since. My daughter's high school class was seriously disappointed when their school board announced the end of animal dissections in their science classes. Thanks to Hazobio, We've been able to keep doing them anyway. This update to the site was made in August of 2005, and Charles Cave died in May of the same year. A little strange to be using a quote from your dead employee on the front page, but that's just the beginning. The site's navigation is just an incomplete alphabet, with, again, broken links. However, one thing that does work is the one for I, and that brings us childhood engineering via backwards education and retroactive gratification. How do you shape the adults of tomorrow? By shaping the children of today. Hazobio's Bureau I is a private sociological research group dedicated to improving the future of humanity by shaping the minds of young children. Do you have a sociological study or experiment you'd like to collaborate on? We'd love to help you accomplish it. Our children are the future, and nobody knows how to shape children like your OI. It wasn't until writing the script for this that I realized the acronym for this section was ICEBERG. Possibly the iceberg that I believe Poppy was talking about earlier, or even the iceberg initiative that was listed alongside I Believe Poppy and Hazobio. Also on Hazobio, they have a section for Z, which is for the advanced biological uses of technology with humans. 
in which they link the article Daggett wrote about them being angel investors. On Vanderstank's site, they have a link for Hazobio Zabbath LTD, which just reads, We solve problems. Please do not contact us unless you know what you're doing. Nothing much now, but good to keep in mind as we continue. The Project Rabbit site has gone dark. The Vanderstake images are all gone. And we see this. I really don't have a lot of time to enumerate all the things that have happened to me. But I don't want to spend too much time on here anyway because this is not my site. And for that I apologize. Not that I should, because I would never apologize to Bundy for... Well, never mind all that. Ramus, can you hear me? I found it. I'm really not sure where to begin, but they promised me that my family would be safe, and that they wouldn't touch him. But time would tell, and time did tell. And now he's gone. I don't know why these people, these expunctionists as they consider themselves, God, the math does not work. And yet they write their equations on the whiteboard, oblivious to the consequences, entangled to their scrawlings. I have seen the Ephenorts, and a lot of people will say I'm rambling about a whole lot of nothing, because that's what these circles usually get chalked up to be in. But this is real, and everyone thinks it's a game. It's not a fucking game. And the human zenth is not a preferable result. Just ask her. You'll hear a lot of news soon, and it all sounds very silly and interesting. Think it to be so literary, because it is not literary, it is literal. The golden oak cannot produce the golden apple, because they are not the same tree. The golden apple has a worm, and you don't even care, do you? Is the upload death? Will they get to return? Man does not equal machine. Except no invitation to the Buddha filled Vanderfield. My brother and I knew about it. And then the site, the articles, the files, the investigation, hell, even the headquarters where we did our looking. It was all seized. The human zenth is not at the top of any pyramid. LD. Project Rabbit is officially hacked, with the simple phrase, You and your little entourage are pathetic. You'll learn soon enough, moron. Meanwhile, on Daggett of Truth, Daggett has posted several times with varying degrees of sanity. I'm being followed on 55, always different occasions, on 5. I believe someone, I went no, to the castle to slay 414 the dragon, someone's. Even if they are sending messages they from are my human, email, I don't know, Matt, they can't access this blog. Too proper authentication, you abid zab of bitches. All paths lead to an audience with the Red Queen. Both directions lead to the same path. This explains more than you could possibly understand. Fuckers are finally starting to see what is going on here. Something tells me Phobos just sat back and watched, while the rest of you did all the work. I'm sorry I haven't been around recently, and I'm sorry that it will also be the case for the next short while. You see, I have to travel. And now that one of you, <clears throat> Vanderstank Balance have told Mommy and Daddy where I was. I have to travel a bit more. I will find out which one of you it was. Uh, oh, oh.
Fuck. Seriously. <laughs> Did you catch that? The Morse code in the background? I'm not well versed in Morse code, but by inputting the audio into Morse code decoder and looking at the audio, figuring out the volume, words per minute, and even giving me a helpful little spectrogram, this is what the decoder had found. I'll admit, I was expecting a little bit more from the Morse code. However, if anyone with a little more know-how in Morse code wants to take a crack at it, please let me know what you find in the comments below. The Project Rabbit site has been updated yet again. Very little of the website itself remains, outside of some text. He got caught. See for yourself. Toyin B saw it coming. They'll probably lie, but he called it. Toyin B knew, and I knew. And my brother knew, and Charlie knew. Did Kubrick know? Have they no shame? And how can you create and join them? You rank up and earn your badges, and you don't even know who you're rooting for. I may not be lucid often, but I am lucid now. And now, with no lapse of clarity, I feel compelled to tell you, and anyone reading this, that Vanderstank must be expunged. They aren't criminals entirely. They're just accomplices. Willing accomplices. There's a fucking storm to come blow over that twisted tree of yours. Where is my brother? Oh, and in case you really think I'm as dense as you seem to, yes, I know that you're letting me use the site. Of course you are. But you can't figure out why the IP keeps changing. Oh, you love IP addresses, don't you asshole? Here. Have another. Hello once again, friends. It is I, your Vanderstank Evangelist. As the Vanderstank Evangelist, it is my job to read to you from the book of Vanderstank, a book of many chapters, innumerable chapters. However, today marks the end of one of those chapters, that of the Vanderstank Evangelist. Now, this is not a goodbye. I will still be here. I will still be in the world, just not here on this channel. But uh, let's not focus on that, let's focus on the positives. Vanderstank. Vanderstank has accomplished so many things that we never dreamt of. So many things in the way of community and brotherhood and spiritualism and science. Now I am not a scientist, if that wasn't obvious. I am the Vanderstank evangelist. I don't read science books. I don't read about ontological interpretations of quantum theory. That's not me. This is who I am. This is me. Regarding Vanderstank's feats of science, we have produced Celia, C-E-L-I-A, and that is the Cognition Entangling Life Form and Interdimensional Apparatus, a full repurposing of Celia Cave. Don't trouble yourself with the ideas about it. Here's a photo. And with that, I would like to leave you with this, the sacred cow. And I'm very thankful for every opportunity Vanderstank has afforded me. And I'm happy to say goodbye. With a title called Deprogramming, it seems Travis has done just that. Could it have been that he was playing along with Vanderstank? Or 
perhaps he really did deprogram himself. And what hope does that give for the others? As well as the people that could very well be inside Celia. Maddie uploads one last video to her YouTube channel, Vanderstank101. This video is silent, while a woman, who I presume is Maddie, or someone who knows Maddie, sits in front of a camera and rips the head off of a teddy bear. She begins ripping the insides out until she finds a picture of Maddie covered in blood, with the word guilty on it. On March 31st, Maddie posts a video to Twitter with the caption, I love you. We don't see her, but we see what looks like blood washing down the drain in a bath. On April 10th, the people following this puzzle woke to a shocking sight. On the Vanderstank site, we're greeted with an ominous black pyramid with the words Hazo Bio Zabeth inside. They will be cleaned. The role of the shell company known as Vanderstank is finished. The family is complete, and we have collected enough specimens to begin the final phase. All patients in the Vanderfield are prepped and ready to go. No tank left empty. We apologize for misleading all of those who ate up the Vanderstang versus Hazobio allegory like dog food. For years, you laughed and you cried as the red sock puppet on our right hand fought the black one on our left. To be fair, you were told from day one that we were many different parts of one whole truth. We also apologize to the members of the executive board that feel they were misled when they agreed to this so many years ago. To be fair, that's not our problem. We hope you will understand why it made sense for us to label ourselves as the bad guys and do all of our work under the guise of the good guy. Vanderstang, for all you to rally behind. The feeble-brained fear-mongering future folks could hate those evil guys at Hazobio and rally behind the guys we propped up at Vanderstang, while still unknowingly working for us, collecting specimens for us, and even advertising for us. Since the ends justify the means, we think you will agree it was a good strategy. For those of you who did not stumble into the vendor stand conveyor belt, can thank us later when the technique is perfected. You too will be seeing your vendor thanks to us when you see the perfect world we've created. Those of you who pledge your allegiance to the Hazabio cause will be rewarded. They will be cleaned. Their minds their families, their friends. They will all be cleaned until they are sparkling and clear and empty and beautiful and sparkling and perfect and spotless and clean. We are the ones who risk the welfare of the few for the benefit of the many. We are the ones who sacrifice our reputation to shape a perfect future for humanity. We are the ones who realize a few eggs must be shattered to make an omelet. We are the ones who wrote the book. And you will thank us later when you are clean like them. Thank you for your contributions to our research. Cleaning will commence. Dear Vanderstake family and employees, between our copious legal expenses and a series of ethically unforgivable business decisions, 
it has become clear that this company is unable to continue operating in its current form. As such, we regret to inform you that the company, formerly known as Bandersnake Industries, will be closing permanently. Over the next 30 days, we will be reviewing our accounting records, paying any outstanding invoices, and liquidating our remaining assets. We would like to thank you for your past business, and we are deeply sorry if you or a loved one was harmed at any time by the products or research of Vanderstake Industries or its associates. Most of all, we are deeply sorry to the memory of Dr. Vanderstein, whose original vision we have let down and have indeed become a twisted shadow of the great company he once envisioned, the Vanderstein Executive Board. And that's where it ends. Not a very climactic ending, I know. But that's what made this mystery so curious for people like me. There are so many things I didn't mention just for the sake of my sanity. It seems like there is always another site that's involved with Vanderstank, and it's hard to shake them from my mind. Even as I was writing the script, I had found yet another site. This one having to do with magic that I am 87% sure has to do with Vanderstank. I may or may not have cried after finding it because of how much information I had to whittle down just to make this video essay. So needless to say, I probably won't be making a video on the new information. One of the things that frustrates me is that, at least LC and Maddie, they're still posting on Instagram and Twitter long after D-Day. And even Ramus posted last year on his blog in a blog post titled Find Me. Vanderstank, in my opinion, with all of the facts surrounding it, was never a cult. In fact, I'm not even sure it was supposed to be an ARG. One of the ways members of Vanderstank can achieve a higher level is by recruiting members. It could have just been a couple lower ranking members wanting to climb the ranks. So there you go. If you had any concerns of Vanderstank being a real cult, then hopefully this video squashed that for you. Vanderstank was the ARG that could have. It could have been a lot of things, with the websites as large and connected as they were, social media accounts of different characters, and even the Gorilla Sticker campaign. It could have been massive. In fact, I still applaud the creators of the site for just how gigantic some of the site maps had to have been. Just the idea of the Vanderstank Church being an interactive flash animation boggles my mind. It's these little touches that make Vanderstank so unique. It's a shame to have seen it implode the way it did. But if you're still curious, if you still want to walk the halls of the church, explore the pages of the OS, or maybe make some Vandercoin, maybe check it out for yourself. You can find the links in the description. Vander, thanks for watching.